Right guys, welcome back. Today I've come to an abandoned village. Um, it's just in the background there behind me. So I'm going to walk up. This village, in, 19, in the 1960s, uh, there's mountain movements up at the top, as you can see. It's quite overgrown now. But the mountains at the top moved and it caused landslides all down this area. So 50 years ago, when this, this happened, the whole village got evacuated. Um, and literally overnight, it became a ghost town. Literally that night, everyone was evacuated and pretty much never came back. It just became, a, it was just left and became a ghost town. Um, mental, absolutely mental. Um, so I'm going to have a wander in now. Hopefully there's still stuff around. Hopefully it's not too overgrown, but we'll see. I'll go and have a look and uh, see what we find. Right, one thing I have noticed, guys, on the way in, um, all this embankment, it's just so wet. Everything above, um, I've been in now for a couple of days and everywhere else is relatively dry, but this village I've come to, it's just, it's just soaked. Um, now, will that have had a, an effect for, for the landslide? I don't know, who knows, but it definitely wouldn't have helped. This landslide, there was over a hundred houses and buildings lost, literally overnight, lost just part of the landslide, rolled down the hill, whatnot, um, and it's just gone. So I'm expecting to see quite a bit of rubble and stuff, and I'm hoping to see rubble. Obviously it depends on how overgrown and that it is. Um, and also, down there, it's quite a big drop, so I don't know how close I'll be able to get. But I'm gonna carry on up, and hopefully, we get some good footage. Guys, this looks like a nice bit of uh, evidence. Look at that tree, look at how that tree is literally grown up and how big it is at the wall and along that ledge. That's mad because that would have been a fireplace there, look at the chimney breast. So this is originally one of the houses or one of the properties or buildings. You can see there's just nothing left. Obviously it's quite hard to even envision it being a house. Oh, look at that tree. Right, hopefully we carry on and find some more. You can see that's part of the house there. Look how overgrown it is. A bit of a window left up there still. Look how nature's just taken over. This one's right on the hill, but there's a house next door that people are living in, I think, so... I'll keep this one quick. They're just using it for wood storage and stuff I think um, let's just get back you can see uh, that's one of the original properties left it's not in the best shape but still there that's all I could find guys I'm going to end this one here um, fortunately it didn't work out as I planned, I've just used the phone for this one as well. I didn't even get the GoPro and that out because I could sort of see that there wasn't really going to be much here. Um, just behind me there, there is that sort of, down there is that building that you've just seen a clip of, um, overgrown. And then just up there is that sort of shop, the old shop. Uh, but it looks like somebody has actually moved into next door. I spent a bit of money on it actually living there. Um, so I didn't really do much video in that outside the front of that, I just took one quick shot because I thought I'll in, I respect their privacy um, and the last thing they probably want me outside gobbing off so um, yeah it's nice to see that they, they moved back into that house because originally they think the two was derelict, the shop and the house um, but it's good to see that they're uh, using it and occupying it so I'm all for that but yeah we'll move on to the next one hopefully we have a bit more luck see you later